Destiny 2 is a game that has a ton of exotic options for all three of their classes, and every season I see content creators ask the question, what is the best exotic for the class that they represent? Now today, I'm going to weigh in my thoughts for Warlocks, and I believe that exotic is going to be Verity's Brow. This exotic adds a lot of damage to your grenades and a ton of utility, not just to yourself, but also your teammates. But before we get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe as we are so, so close to our 1,000 subscriber goal, and that would mean a ton to me. And also, let's have a quick word from our sp I mentioned just a minute ago, the exotic we're going to be looking at this week is the Warlock Exotic Helmet Verity's Brow, which comes with the trait the fourth magic. Weapon final blows with a damage type matching your subclass energy grants death throws, which provides a grenade damage bonus and grants you grenade energy. When you have death throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. This is amazing, as when we get a defeat with a weapon matching our subclass, we get one sack of death throws for 10 seconds stacking 5 times. This will grant us a 50% base grenade recharge rate at 1 stack and 250% at 5 stacks. It also grants 20% increased damage per stack, so at 5 stacks, that is also going to be a 100% increase in our grenade damage. It also comes with the added benefit of giving our allies a massive grenade cooldown buff when we throw our own grenades, as they're going to get a buff called Feed the Flames. At this point, you may be asking what grenade is the best for this exotic, and that all depends on your subclass. I went through and I tested every single grenade in the game, so for Solar, you're going to want to run Fusion Grenades, Arc, I'm going to pick Storm Grenades, for Strand, I went with Threadling Grenades, Stasis, we should probably pick Cold Snaps, and this Grenade Cooldown buff also applies to your Stasis Turrets, and for Void, the subclass that I'm picking for this build, I went with Magnetic Grenades, and the reason for that is because of the Aspect Chaos Accelerant. Hold your Grenade button to overcharge your grenade, making it more deadly and more effective. For Magnetic Grenades, it's going to release a Short Range Void Blast. Back when Forsaken came out and no Nova Warp along with it. It used to have an ability called Handheld Supernova where we could charge any of our Void Grenades and it would have this same exact effect and it was super super fun and it was super good. With the Charge of Magnetic Grenades we can once again experience that ability and paired with Verity's Brown this turns them into very very strong grenades. For the other aspect we're going to take Feed the Void. Defeat a target with a Void ability to activate Devour. While Devour is active Final Blows restore health and extend Devour. Devour. These charged magnetic grenades are going to make it very easy to activate Devour, and I am a sucker for anything that can add survivability to a build, but if you're not worried about that, you can swap this up for Child of the Old Gods, as we're also going to be pairing this build with the Fragment Echo of Starvation. Picking up a Void Breach or an Orb of Power grants Devour with a minus 10 to our recovery. Again, I am a sucker for any kind of survivability, so we're adding this into the build, hence why you can easily swap Feed the Void for the Child of the Old God. We're also going to take Echo of Expulsion. Void ability final blows cause targets to explode with a plus 10 to our intellect. This fragment adds some very nice ad clear, not just for our grenade, but also our melee, our super, and the Child of the Old Gods if you want to run that instead. Echo of Undermining. Your Void Grenades weaken target with a minus 20 to our discipline. The hit to discipline is a bit much, but because of Verity's Brow giving us all those benefits to grenade recharge rate, it is not going to to matter at all. This will also give our grenades that little bit of extra utility for those large targets as well as giving them the chance to potentially take them out in one grenade. Finally we have Echo of Instability. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons with a plus 10 to strength. This is going to be very very helpful as now we can get a grenade defeat and any weapon we have will get volatile rounds and that is going to turn them into anti-barrier weapons which is very helpful so we can run things like Graviton Lance, which is the weapon I paired with this build, that is it is perfect. Starting with its exotic trait, Black Hole, second shot of a burst rips a hole through space time, doing high damage and high recoil with no fall off. This is very good to deal as much damage as you can from a distance and it is super strong inside of PvP, but its second trait is what we're really taking advantage of here for this build and that is Cosmology. Kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawns void projectiles that track targets. These extra void projectiles that spawn from this particular trait 
can also give us stacks of death throws, allowing us to stack it very, very quickly and keep it stacked for as long as possible in order for us to just throw more of these supercharged magnetic grenades. Its catalyst also comes with turnabout, which can give you overshields by breaking enemy shields and vorpal weapon to deal extra damage to bosses and champions. As for our armor mods on our helmet, we have harmonic siphons, so our void weapons can make orbs and two ashes to assets to get our super back very fast from our overcharged grenades because again they are going to defeat targets very easily on arms we have firepower to make orbs from these grenades and bolstering detonation so we can get rift energy back when we deal damage with our grenades we do not need a grenade kickstart in this build as verity's brow is literally doing all the work for us on our chest just charge it up and or reserve mods and resist mods depending on what you're running legs we're going to use two void weapon surge mods so our void weapons can do that extra damage making it again very easy to stack death throws and a single stack of innervation so we can help our grenades along just a little bit finally on our bond we're going to take reaper for the extra orb generation powerful attraction to pull orbs to us and bomber to also help our grenade along just that little bit for our artifact we have elemental orbs void elemental fury communal pickups refreshing pickups monochromatic maestro and elemental embrace pretty much the standard for anything that you're running this season which i have a problem with and that is going to be a video for another time because i have a lot of problems with the lack of diversity with the artifact this season and i gotta get it off my chest but that's for a later date for stats you really Really, really gonna want to double down into grenade so this way that Verity's brow can pull that extra weight but your grenade your base grenade cooldown to be more specific is already going to have a very low cooldown time meaning you're going to get that grenade back even faster with all that being said and this build being complete I will have to say that this is definitely probably one of the best warlock exotics in the game not only because you get really quick grenade cooldown rate not only because you give really good grenade damage not only because you can also help your teammates with their grenade cooldown but mainly because it is such a versatile exotic you can use this with every single subclass in the game with every single grenade in the game and you can pair it with just about every single elemental weapon in the game you want to run stasis grab a stasis weapon throw on your cold snaps you now basically have a build with little to no effort with fragments or aspects and the same can be said with pretty much of the every single one of the other subclass options we have available to us i think verity's brow is again an extremely powerful exotic and i don't see enough people using it and that should really change as if you do like verity's brow they said that to give it an ornament you got to have more people using it and the one bad thing about verity's brow is it doesn't look the greatest but it is still so powerful so please try this build out and tell me what you think about it even if you use it with another subclass but with that that is the end of our video today so again tell me what you think in the comments below like comment and again please subscribe we are so so close to that 1000 subscriber goal and it would honestly mean a ton to me as we've been working on this for quite some time now so again it would mean the absolute world to me if you haven't subscribed to subscribe already and with that i will see you guys next week when we do uh, probably one more titan build and then we're gonna try some experimental stuff so hope everybody has a good week and i'll see you in the next video